Imagine it's the year 2100, and you're traveling to the airport. These autonomous pods will take you, your luggage, and even your office or summer cottage straight to the terminal. They will then hang onto a flying crown to fly to your destination. For longer distances, the pods are put into special aircraft to save energy. The idea was conceived by a Slovenian architect who won an international competition for future airport design. We have to envision first the whole mobility of the future, and what is happening in terms of. Uh, micro mobility and macro mobility in terms of the whole uh, global uh, context, and this is where I've started to 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 strip down what it is actually to 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 move and what it is actually to be transported.、Um, how to get from really not even micro but maybe nano scale of moving around the city, moving from city to city, and moving from country to country. This design. Is not only feasible, but it's actually also necessary. And on one hand, the future is exactly as we will predict it. So we have to predict it smart. We have to predict it green, and we have to predict it as how we would like. Some of the design features may not be too far from reality. So all, there are many aspects that could be done. While you travel to the airport in a safe environment, you can have your biometrics sent to the airport and. You, Once you arrive there, everybody knows who you are. For example, if that car or a computer or an app will allow you to to send the passport, everything to get your passport validated, you you will not go through outbound immigration anymore. So you could be already trusted to passenger. According to the International Air Transport Association's 2022 Global Passenger Survey, passengers want to get through the airport as quickly as possible. 88% of passengers are satisfied with the overall biometric process, while 75% of them are eager to use biometrics instead of passports or boarding passes. Experts say the technology for airports to be like this is already available. In South Korea, Incheon Airport has, in July 2023, implemented a facial recognition system for passengers, letting them skip the process of scanning boarding passes and passports. However, legislation for the development and implementation of these future technologies often stops them from becoming a reality. I find it easier to implement in a more technology-friendly zones like Asia or Middle East. They try to do things differently、uh, because they have a tendency of、uh, building in advance, being proactive, and implementing these things. Uh, where、uh, more traditional economies like Western Europe or、uh, North America, they go a little bit reactive. As well as being designed to be easier to access, there is a growing trend for future airports and travel options to be sustainable. In Europe, 200 airports in 45 countries have pledged all be fossil-free by 2050. 10 airports in Sweden have already achieved carbon neutrality, becoming in 2020 the first country among them to hit net zero, cutting more than 10,000 tons of carbon dioxide annually. Have like every kind of machine and tools or vehicles that are common in the society. So if we can become zero emitter, everyone can. It's not too, so difficult, and it's not so expensive either. Airport operators with Avia is now aiming at making all domestic flights fossil-free by 2030 and all flights in Sweden by 2045. A project for developing and testing an all-electric 30-seat aircraft at Malmo Airport has been launched in summer 2023. Electric aircraft are one of the options being considered, with Sweden also actively exploring the potential of hydrogen aircraft and sustainable aviation fuel. If you take into account that everything of those things are in place, I think aviation or flying should will be the most sustainable way to travel in the future. Because you don't really need so much、uh, infrastructure, 